Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. It's the Touche B336 Tarot. Touche B here. Thank y'all for joining me again. The sign just came out and I felt it in my spirit and said, let me go ahead and get this message out. I am here today to do your seven day reading, your weekly reading for this week, August the 29th. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Um, I did shuffle ahead of time, of course, but let's see what we got going for this week, okay? Hope everybody is having a fantastic day. The sun is actually out here. It is beautiful, and since I felt the sun shining, I said, why not shine this light and get this message out, okay? So let's go. Let's go, Spirit. Show me truth and clarity. What do we need to know? What energy do we have for the next seven days? What do we have for the next seven days? How, including today. Let's start with today and then we'll move all the way through Saturday. We're going to start off with first card out is for today is the full eight of swords for Monday, two of pentacles for Tuesday. We have the Five of Cups for Wednesday, the King of Cups for Thursday, the Magician for Friday, and the Strength card for Saturday. Very good, very good. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? The Seven of Wands. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started with this one. So starting off for today, yes, today with the Fool. Today is absolutely a day of new beginnings, trying things you've never done before, taking first chances, and just trusting that you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, just following your path, following what you feel to be right for your Yourself and taking a leap of faith. I actually really like this full card. They show him basically just stepping out on faith. He has nothing behind him. He said, you know what? I just know that it is what it is. And this is what I'm supposed to be doing and having absolute faith that he will be provided for. And that is what you should have today. Start something new. A 1% improvement of yourself is a beginning just like anything in itself. So start one thing new today, even if it's just saying one positive affirmation, like I will improve myself by 1% every day. Okay, so that's what we have going on for Sunday, today, August the 29th. So looking at Monday, what we're coming up with is the Eight of Swords. And what I'm feeling on this is really just realizing that you have to understand that you are the only reason that you are not able to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish or keeping yourself in a certain mindset and feeling like you can't move past. Now you took the first step on yet on today with the fool. You took that leap of faith, but now your overthinking is going to tell you or make you start questioning, did I do the right thing? Should I do something else? And you absolutely did. You have to want the the thing is you want to start training and making yourself understand that you are only a prisoner you are and if you see on this car she looks in prison she has a blindfold on she's got all these swords around her but this is a very mental card this is a card of making or thinking yourself into feeling trapped when you're actually not because she's actually able to get out of this so it's a matter of teaching yourself to know that you are the only reason that you can be stopped from accomplishing anything that you want to do and that you set out. So definitely want to make sure that you're staying grounded on Tuesday. Make sure that you are focusing on when you start having those thoughts of should I, did I do the right thing, questioning things that you um, know that you did right. That's when you want to go into maybe a grounding practice, maybe try some breathing exercises. Just stop, take a second, point your face to the sun and say, you know what? I am okay. And it is going to be okay. We have definitely want to work through um, that negative thinking. But, and then of course it's Monday. So who wants to start the week off, right? Everybody's still chilling from the weekend, but that is not, that is definitely what we are going to overcome for Monday. Looking at two at Tuesday, 
we have the two of pentacles and what i'm feeling on this two of pentacles is after you get through this this time of overthinking and questioning the decision that you you made what you started with this fool card now you're coming to a place of thinking of it from both perspectives you're also um looking to be very balanced on this day, but you are going to have to make a decision. You are going to have to choose because it may be that you have too many things going on at one time. So this is going back with this eight of swords, just making sure that you're focusing on one thing. Okay. Making sure that you're taking one thing, cementing that for yourself and just focus on that. Balance that out. Don't overthink the situation. Balance that out and then try to and then move forward to the next project. I'm definitely feeling like you're just having too much going on with this two of pentacles. OK. So for Thursday, what we're looking at is the five of cups Thursday. I know we say Wednesday or I'm sorry, um, this is Wednesday. So this is hump day. So this is um actually a, a very fitting card to me because it's kind of like even what I'm feeling on this five of cups is like oh my gosh am I gonna make it through to the next day and or the next couple of days or whenever maybe your work week ends or whatever this situation is that you're dealing with if it's in love if it's in your job you're you're not knowing exactly like what am I going to do? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just continue on this looking at the glasses half empty instead of half full? So this Wednesday is definitely going to give you an opportunity to say, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to focus on these spilled cups behind in front of me because I have these two cups. I have this new adventure, this new thing that I just started, this new idea that I I'm coming up with, whether it's taking a daily walk, self-care, and for that, again, that improvement of 1% every day. You're not going to focus on the things that caused you the anxiety that you had with this Eight of Swords or made you feel unbalanced with this Two of Pentacles. You're going to be focusing on the positive things by the, mid, the middle of the week. And the rest of the week looks absolutely great because after we get through all of these mental things over here and feeling a little unbalanced, then we come to the King of Cups. This is coming from a place of being receptive uh, and uh, uh, ready to receive. And also, I'm balanced. I've dealt with all of these issues at the beginning of the week and having that great perspective and looking at yourself and saying, you know what? Yeah, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, maybe they were a little rough. But today, no, today is great. And looking forward to the weekend, if you come to Friday and Saturday, you have the magician and you have the strength card. No, we ready to party. We ready to have some fun. We've had a long week. And now the magician is saying, I have done everything that I needed to do. I had everything that I needed in order to do that. And now I'm going to, now that I've balanced out this overthinking, now that I've, I've cried or I've gotten a release of, of the emotions that I had pent, built up um and balance those out with the king of cups now i'm going to take all of that that i learned this week and i'm going to have a little bit of fun i'm going to take everything that i learned and i'm going to say this was a lesson this was a blessing and i'm going to it showed me the strength that i have with this uh strength card leo energy coming through um so if you're a fire sign represent because i am definitely a leo sun so this, this week is basically showing you, whereas in the beginning of the week, you felt like you weren't going to make it with this eight of swords. You were overthinking situations, feeling unbalanced is what I'm getting on this two of pentacles. And then in the middle of the week, you may have a breakdown about it, but you know what? That's going to be okay too, because you're going to get past that. And by the end of the week, moving into, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you're going to find your power. You're going to say, no, what? Uh -uh. I'm not going to worry myself about what happened this past, this, the, at the earlier part of this week. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to relax. You're going to reflect on everything that happened. And what you're going to do is take the time and say, you may only take one thing and say, you know, I maybe only did one thing, but you're going to realize how much that adds to your personal power, how much that adds to, um, you just living and being your most authentic self. Okay. So very good. Very, very good. I'm definitely feeling this energy for this week. I received this. Okay. I received this. And this is a timeless reading for whenever you read this message or see this video or get this message. Okay. I'm going to give you guys one final 
word of guidance before I call it a wrap. All right. Very good reading. I received this energy. We starting off a little rocky, but we going to we're going to rock it out. We're going to rock it out. We're going to make this another great week, okay? We are going to have amazing days. And even on those days that feel a little shaky, just make sure that we're finding something to show gratitude for. Because even if it's nothing more than saying, I am so happy and so grateful that I woke up today because that in itself is a blessing, okay? One final word of guidance for you guys. Look at that. Look at spirit coming through. I told you, like not even playing. You have so much spiritual support. Spirit said you are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness. Remember, we had all of this going on at the beginning of the week. Spirit is saying you're going to find the strength. You are going to find the strength that you need your personal power, your spark, you're going to find that. And that's what's going to help you get all the way through to the end of the week. That's what's going to give you this magician energy and this Leo energy, this strength energy. Okay. You are going to find the strength that you need, even though at the start of the week, it's feeling like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do it? What what am I going to do? How am I going to make it? You are going to find that strength today. You can start today, even like, again, that 1% improvement, even if you start today and you use that same mantra of I will improve myself by 1% every day, that may just be what you need, what gets you through the week and gets you to this sun card, which is your ultimate goal and happiness for this week. Very, very good. So excited about this reading and this energy, y'all. I receive it and I hope you do too. Thank you so much. Again, this is, a, this is new for me. I thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You may or may not resonate with any of it, but I hope that you still like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have the most amazing day. I am so happy and so grateful for today and for the energy that I received from this reading. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Touche B336 Tarot. Y'all have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye.